Currently, uh, I am in Tata Medical Center as the Director of Laboratory Sciences. I look after hematopathology and molecular pathology. We uh, do work in acute lymphoblastic leukemias, we do in acute myeloid leukemias and special transcriptomics. And we also are working on uh, multiple myelomas. I am Dr. Sushant Vinarkar. Uh, at Tata Medical Center, Calcutta, I work as associate consultant in uh, Department of Lab Hematology and uh, Molecular Pathology. My uh, work whole day involves uh, reporting of bone marrow aspirates, biopsies, flow cytometry, and towards molecular interpretation and analysis of the various tests of molecular that we perform. I am Dr. Mayur Parihar. So I am a senior consultant in Lab Hematology, Molecular Pathology, and Cytogenetics. I basically have two roles in this institute. One, uh, as a service provider, wherein we work in the labs. And second, um, also a researcher, with all of my research focusing on acute leukemias. We actually started using, initially when we started our research, uh, we didn't, uh, we're looking for much larger copy number variations, which were beyond uh, the resolution of sequencing. Nor the informatic pipelines then were uh, good enough to identify these copy number abnormalities. Applied uh, biosystem technology is, you know, I mean, it covers, uh, it has a wide spectrum of uh, solutions and instruments, and we've been using them right from the PCR machines to the Sanger sequencing, and uh, in a lot of our day-to-day -day molecular work. In routine day-to-day -day life also, we have different platforms from applied biosystem technologies which include uh, RT-PCR machines, uh, Sanger sequencer, the next generation sequencer, and they provide an end-to-end -end solution for us. All our FFP-based assays uh, for real-time platform, they were initially standardized on the ABI 7500. So whatever uh, real-time platform that we currently do, all starts with that. So my message to the young scientist is uh, this, this field of molecular pathology is very dynamic. You would never feel old. You're always learning. You're always growing. There's always uh, so much to learn and as well as add. If you want to grow in the field of medicine, you have to have a balanced approach to your professional career. But if you want to broaden your knowledge, you have to do training, teaching and research activities.